Mike Charman, we're, uh, we're sitting just outside the scorer's box here at uh, the first central county ground where you've been uh, ever present for almost 20 years. Today is the, uh, the start of your final match as the first team scorer. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, mixed feelings, definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, I shall miss it. I think uh, it probably won't hit home till next year when I suddenly see that they're playing and I'm not there. But uh, I had a bit of practice uh, this year. I've not covered all matches, but yeah, it's it's. Uh, yeah. I sat in the car coming in this morning. It took me over an hour to get in just from Worthing, so I shan't miss that. And a lot of other things I won't miss. But uh, but yeah, um, certainly uh, it, it's, it's mixed feelings very much so today. As you mentioned, many uh, many hours on the road, both home and away. But yeah. That's the thing you won't miss. But what about the things you will miss? Oh, it, 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 in any job, it's it's the people that do it, and uh, that, that'll be the thing. You know, the, the, the banter that goes on. Uh, some of it more friendly than others, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it'll be the the, the, the interaction with, with the people is, is the thing basically that uh, I think will really hit me. Really. Um, I've been very privileged. I've been involved, you know, throughout my career, where where the, the team has, has won every competition uh, that they, they could possibly win. Um, so you know, it's 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 been mar marvellous to be with them when they've done that. And uh, I shall miss that. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll get some more success. Uh, didn't quite make it this year, but hopefully next year we'll be back on a successful road again. And uh, you know, certainly miss it then. Seeing somebody else going up there and getting the medals when they win all the competitions, etc. So, yeah. I guess that's a really important thing to, that people might not realise is that you know you you are part of the team really. You you, you travel on the same coach, you stay in the same oh, yeah. hotel, yeah, yeah, you eat the same so. meals. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, I like to think so. I mean, it, it, it's it's different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two generations away from most of the team so so as far as sort of socializing and that sort of thing is I, I, I tend to stay in the background because uh, I don't believe it's it's right that I sort of uh, interfere with with their sort of social activities etc happy to join in if they ask me to do so but you know but yeah yeah I, I do you know I, I like to think that I, I'm part of the team and I, like to, I hope that they think I am as well and, uh, I think that's been the way of it over the years obviously um the world's changed a lot in the last 20 years, but what about the world of county cricket scoring? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I mean, I um, when I, I started a second level scorer in, in 2002, and you know it was just a book. The county uh, guys were uh, the first level guys were doing uh, a computer program at that stage, but nearly everybody was still doing a book of some sort, and. Um, then when I took over in, in well, finally in 2006, I mean we were doing a, a, a book and a program. We've stopped doing the book over the last 15 or so years. Uh, an official book. I've always still kept a paper record myself. But yeah, it's it's all very much technology based, and and it's moving on. It's moved on a lot this year, and there's been a link between us and the people that do all the analytical work on the, on, the, on the game. Um, and that's all sort of been tied in, which, which is rightly so. And it, you know, it's, it's all providing information, both to our, our players and coaches, and also to the, the general public. You know, so, so the more information that we can put out, then, then the better it is. And you mentioned the um, the trophies that Sussex have won during your tenure. Uh, obviously, those must be real highlights. But anything else stand out in your mind as sort of real peaks of, of your time? In no, I, I mean I think I think there's uh, you know there. Uh, those times when when the team do do well, I mean they, they are. Really, I mean I, I couldn't have had a better start. 2006 was my first year where I did it completely on my own, my own, and that was the year that we did the double uh, with the uh, CNG Trophy as well as the championship, uh, and then went on another championship in, in 07 and different things across the years and since then. And uh, yeah, no, they 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 uh, they are very much the things that do stand out. Uh, it's uh, you know it's. It, it, is the reward that the team get for the work they put into it, so, and to be sort of part of that is, is uh, you know, uh, brings back some really happy memories. And, uh, any any advice to your to your successor when they start next year? No, no, I mean everybody is you know does it their own way, and and whoever takes it on, uh, we've got a, a good idea who it might be, but it's not been announced yet. But whoever takes it on, um, you know, will do it as they want to do it. Um, 
it will seem strange to me, uh, you know, and somebody's doing it slightly differently to the way I do, but it doesn't mean to say it's wrong by any means, but uh, uh, no, so no, I mean, uh, be their own man and do what they think is right. And I say, I've always been a, a sort of situation that I stood back from the team to a certain extent, uh, you know, because I, d I didn't, although I feel part of the team, I didn't want to, to impinge on, on, on their uh, activities. But, uh, you know, I mean, if, if it's that's the sort of thing they want to do, then, then yeah, up to them to do it. Well, you know. And what next for Mike Charman? Well, I do a lot of voluntary work. I do a fair bit with the Kent Surrey Sussex Air Ambulance, uh, and of course a lot of our activities, uh, events, etc., are in the summer, which I've not been able to help with, so hopefully a lot more work with them. Um, I also do some uh, voluntary footpath inspections for the West Sussex County Council, very much a, a walker, and I like to make sure that we try and keep the footpaths open for everybody, and so I, I help out with those as well. So, again, I've not been able to do very much in the summer in the recent uh, years, so hopefully I expand into that. So, yeah. And I hope, you know, I'm just, I hope for, to still come back and, and get involved in behind the scenes possibly here to, to a certain extent, you know, maybe little jobs that, that uh, I feel I can, I can do and I'd be happy to do so, you know, to, to repay some of the, 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 the fun and, and enjoyment they've given me over the last uh, what, 30 years in total uh, since I first became involved with the club. Do you think as this, as this game gets going and, and, and eventually draws to a close, you, there might be a, a bit of emotion? Well, I think, yeah, it could well be that case, yeah, yeah it, it, it'll be difficult uh, and, uh, um, whether it goes Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it may be, it, it, it'll be interesting to, to see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I, I shall, I shall, yeah, I definitely, I, I will miss it. As I said, uh, I think it will be next year before it really hits me. But yeah, there's certainly uh, media, the, the, the damn highs, I think, by the end of the week. Yeah. Well, I know I won't be the first person this week to um, to say this, but uh, on you know on behalf of everyone at the club, you uh, you've been a a, a real, uh, a real presence um, and a very friendly face. So um, enjoy your final game, and you. um, we wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you, and thank you to the club for having me.